2023 Early Career Bursaries for London Writers, Terms and Conditions. Please read these terms and conditions before submitting your application. 1. The Early Career Bursaries is a 12-month programme for writers aged 18 and over and resident in London who are on a low income. By low income, we mean writers A, whose income is through benefits, i.e. universal credit, PIP, etc. B, or whose income is paid at or below the London living wage hourly rate, which you can find on www.livingwage.org.uk. C, and whose savings do not exceed the amount needed to pay for three months of living costs, rent, gas and electricity, food, etc. Two, the early career bursaries particularly welcomes entries from writers from the following communities. A, black, Asian, global majority. B, lesbian, gay, C, working class or from a working class background. D, deaf and disabled. E, refugee. F, care experienced. Three, the 2023 bursaries accept applications from writers developing an existing project or a developed idea for a new project in the following genres. A, literary fiction, including short stories. B, commercial fiction, includes romance, crime, science fiction, thriller, fantasy, horror, historical fiction. C, narrative non-fiction includes life writing, biography, memoir, nature writing, and non-fiction with a strong literary intent. Four, applications will be accepted either online through our submittable page, spreadtheword.submittable.com, or using a paper entry form downloadable from Spread the Word dot org dot uk early hyphen career hyphen bursaries and posted to early career bursaries 2023 spread the word the albany london se8 4ag 5 to qualify an application must consist of two items the completed entry form and a writing sample from your proposed bursary project, or if you have not begun this yet, an extract from a piece of writing that is either narrative nonfiction, novel, part of a short story collection or novella you have written in the past three years. Six, the writing sample when submitted online must be submitted as a text document. Dot doc dot docx dot pdf typed in black 12 point font double spaced and paginated and submitted online via submittable or in the post with an entry form a answers to the other entry form submission questions eligibility supporting statements access fund about your project may be provided in text formats in spoken English or in video format spoken in, in spoken English or British Sign Language. Unfortunately, we cannot return any entries submitted by post, but we will acknowledge receipt of entry. 8. Only one application will be considered per writer. 9. Incomplete applications will not be considered or acknowledged. 10. Applications must be written by a single author who meets the eligibility criteria of the Early Career Bursaries for London Writers. 11. All work submitted must be the individual and original work of the applicant. 12. Applicants must be living full-time in London at the point of application and during the programme. 13. The application entry form must be in English or British Sign Language and the writing sample must be in written English. 14. 
writing samples longer than the word count of 3000 will be disqualified. There is no minimum word count. 15. Applications received after the deadline of 12 p.m. midday on Tuesday the 1st of November 2022 will not be accepted. 16. Entries will be judged anonymous anonymously. To that effect, please do not include your name on any printed or uploaded documents or files. This includes your writing sample. Any writing samples with names or identifying information on them will render the application disqualified. 17. The early career bursaries for London writers will offer three bursaries to the value of £15,000 to each successful applicant. A, with £10,000 cash towards creating time to write, for example, covering living costs, rent, childcare. B, £5,000 towards craft and career development, for example, mentoring, membership, subscriptions, research costs, for example, travel and accommodation, equipment, for example, laptop, retreats and feedback. C. A plan for the 12 months of each bursary and a tailored package of support from Spread the Word, including one-to-one -one professional development sessions and access to our regular programme of workshops, masterclasses, courses, networking events and opportunities. 18. A bursary cannot be used for the following match funding for a grant or other funded opportunity and or towards payment for or to pay off university fees. 19. Entrants will hear the outcome of their submission if it is, and if it has made the long list by Friday the 18th of November 2022. 12 writers will be long listed. 20. Due to the high number of applications, Spread the Word will not be able to offer feedback on applications. We hope you understand, and we're sorry not to be able to provide this. 21. Long-listed writers will be offered the opportunity of having a special mention on Spread the Word's website. 22. From the long list, a judging panel of practising writers will select a short list of six entrants, with long-listed writers being given feedback. 23. Short-listed writers will be emailed the week commencing Monday the 12th of December 2022 and invited for an interview on Wednesday the 11th of January 2023 either online via Zoom or at the Spread the Word offices at the Albany, Douglas Way, London, SE8 4AG. Please check that you are available on this date before applying. We will confirm the interview format and other details in January. 24. The announcement of the three recipients of the 2023 Early Career Bursaries for London Writers will be on the week commencing Monday the 6th of February 2023. 25. Reasonable adjustments will be made for writers through the Bursaries Access Fund. 26. Successful applicants must be available to attend all the activities associated with the programme. 27. Spread the word reserves the right to withdraw and reclaim the financial value of a bursary or access fund monies and to ask a bursary recipient to leave the program if they fail to attend activities without a valid reason, break our code of conduct or are found to have fabricated or withheld any information or material in their application. 28. Spread the Word will make final decisions on eligibility and perform due diligence checks on interview candidates. This includes providing documentation on your financial situation. Our decisions are final and no correspondence will be entered into on the subject. Please also refer to the eligibility criteria document. 29. Notifications of changes in circumstances to the relevant government body or any tax liabilities arising from the awarding of a bursary are the responsibility of the recipient. 30. Successful applicants must be available to participate in media and PR for the Early Career Lon Bursaries for London Writers announcement and related activity. 31. 
It is the writer's responsibility to inform Spread the Word if they are offered a contract to sign up with an agent and or publishing contract and or accept a place on a longer term development course during the application and judging process. In this case, you will become ineligible for a bursary. 32. Judges, their close family members, employees or trustees of Spread the Word or our major donor are not permitted to apply. 33. Submission of an application to the early stage bursaries will be taken to mean acceptance of these terms and conditions. Entries that fail to comply with these terms and conditions will be disqualified. 34. The judge's decision is final and no correspondence or discussion about the judging process will be entered into. 36. Spread the word reserves the right to alter dates, timeline and terms and conditions stated above should it be necessary for any reason.